Hey everybody, Logan here. Today I'm playing a game that, well, I got a little early. And that is Ayudin Chronicle 100 Heroes. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that. But this is the spiritual successor to the Sweet Coden series. Don't know if you're familiar with that, but fantastic series. I would play the... I never owned the PS1 versions, but I would play 4 and 5 on PS2, and I really enjoyed them. So, once I heard this one was coming out, the full one, because there was the, the other one, I forget what it was called, but it was a side-scroller action kind of game. This is a RPG, and this is the one I wanted. Ooh, I like the shark. That was cool. That's cool. Nice. Ayudin Chronicle, 100 Heroes. Sweet. Press the Any button. All right, let's take a look at the options. So... Oh, it changes everything. That's a lot of languages. And you can change... English, I'll oh, English. Auto dialogue advance. Vibration on. Camera tilt normal. Camera pan normal. Sound settings. Control. Okay. Now, I did get this on, as you guys saw, the PlayStation 5. I wanted it on the Switch, but I was only able to get the PlayStation 5 version early. That's completely fine. I'll pick up the Switch version down the line. But uh, I, I was still happy to get it on PlayStation 5. So let's go back. Start the game on normal difficulty. Yeah, that's fine. Starting the game on normal difficulty. You cannot change it. That's, that's fine. Game looks beautiful. I love that 2D, HD, 3D background thing. It's really cool. Like they use in uh, Bravely Default and uh, Octopath Travel. Not Bravely Default. Yeah, it's just Octopath. And, um... Oh, what was that? Triangle... Something. I forget what it's called. I've got both those games. Unfortunately, I didn't have the time to put into those. But I also didn't get those early. A game that I get like this and I start playing it early... Usually I play the majority of it, or go all the way through it. This game is beautiful. The only thing is I thought it would be out much sooner. That hawk's going after the blue jay. Ooh! It's like, leave the little birdie alone! That's a nice arm, too, dude. You were, like, accurate. And the bird's gonna poop on you. <sniffs> Messed up your hair. Oh, you, you only fix one side? Hey there. You must be the new guy Emir mentioned. Possibly. Welcome to the watch. So, what's your name? That dude's voice, kind of like this. It's 
<laughs> kind of cool. Why are you even here? You, you just said it. I'm the new guy. Well, Noah, I want you to see the world. Noah, I want to put myself to the test. Uh. <laughs> What's the matter, newbie? Oh, you got your tongue. Mew. Oh, I get it. You thought the watch was full of sweaty, manly men, and now you're faced with two buttes like Mimi and me. You're gobsmacked into silence. Ugh, no. Look, it's fine. We don't bite. T ups, even worse. <laughs> ah, so your name's Noah, eh? Did I have a name tag on? Well, I'm Leon, and we're gonna be best buds, <laughs> yep. And yeah, Mimi looks all icy and serious, but she's actually super nice. Also an old pro at this, just like me. Mm-hmm. You've been here two days. <laughs> oh, she is such a kidder! Shut up, Mimi! Sheesh! I'm Gar. No one's been warming this post longer than me. Which ain't really saying much. <laughs> the Watch are basically mercs with public backing. And we get slapped with every kind of job. Some folks stay... Some folks leave. Don't know if you're a stayer or a lever, but we'll see what you can do in the meantime. I'm a lever 2000. A, that was a soap. I don't know if they still make that. Yeah, he looks like a real party animal. Okay, I'll show myself out. <laughs> I am Mio of the East Reach. Welcome. Mia, her name is spelled just like the stuff that you put in the water, you know, to you can get at Publix or Walmart or Target. You get that little bottle, you put it in and it makes your water taste better and gives you energy and stuff. Okay, again, I'll show myself out. <laughs> No, it, it isn't. Full thrust fighter. <laughs> so, did I hear right that we're teaming up with the Empire Gar? I can't believe we're going to be working with a bunch of imps. I know the League and Empire ain't got much in the way of rosy history, but I guess this is some kind of goodwill gesture. All above my pay grade, but I know this much. When a politician shows you something with one hand, it's the other one you gotta keep an eye on. Booyah! This dude's based. This dude is based. Still, a job's a job. They set up a command post on the hill there at the Elder's residence. You ready for your first assignment? You got this, kiddo. Just keep it loose. Kiddo, I'm probably older than you. It's also your first assignment. <laughs> to interact, for instance, talk to someone, enter a building, or search an area, approach, and press X at the prompt. Pretty simple. Press triangle to open the main menu. From there, you can use items and magic, change equipment, see your stats, and access any other menus you need. Press square to open the map menu and view the map of where you are or the world map. The map will be filled in as you visit and explore new areas. Selecting story lets you see summary of your adventures. Seems legit. Okay, so you can run around with either the D-pad or the stick. The, the left stick. The right stick doesn't do anything here. Shoulder buttons don't do anything. Circle, triangle is the menu. Let's take a look around the menu.
Ooh, excuse me. You can access battle plan in the main menu to configure what your whole party does in auto battle mode. Okay. Fight freely, sure. All right, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. Hmm, I'd love some good beans. You, what? Why are you telling me you want beans? All right. I like that particle effect. Looks like how you can see the dust in the light. That is really nice. It's little things like that that really get me on games. Let's see, who are you? Villager, the view here is always the same, but I don't mind it at all. It's, it's a nice view. Hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. They're playing happily. Better not disturb them. Throw something at them. The Countess of Grum lives in a place called Eltiweiss to the south. This is Arinside, one of the villages in Grum County. Squeak. Okay, I can I can talk to a mouse. All right, I'm supposed to go this way. Can I can I run faster? No. Oh, but triggered a cutscene. The last of the arrangements. Gesture of Amity, my hide. Those prune faced mules on the council just wanted to saddle me with the grunt work. Where? Wow. Make them pay for it when we get home. Mark my words. Will we be returning to Norrister straight away, milady? I thought perhaps we might rest a spell. A few more days of this balmy weather would not go amiss. Additionally, I've heard tell of a local herb chicken dish that simply melts on the tongue. Mmm, herb chicken sounds pretty good. We don't have time for that. Wow, what a... You know. Why do they keep pushing me down? Ugh. Well... Because you're annoying already. If I have to put in double or triple the effort to make them respect me, then that's what I'll do. Dude just wants some chicken. Come on. Now let's go. Dude just wanted some chicken. Guy could not have any chicken. Um. You're with the watch, yes? Good, good. As you may be aware, we need leverage to negotiate with the Empire, which means we must pull our weight on this little co expedition. I don't expect you to find a primal lens, but if you locate the rune barrows, I'll see your paid extra. Jingle jingle and all that, yes? Now get out there and show me some results. Dazzle me, handsome. Uh, sorry? Janequist, we are leaving. I'm wondering if that first response changed how he's going to respond to everything. That's going to be interesting. Uh, very good, milady. Oh, and see if we can get that herb chicken to go. Ha! Ha! That chicken! Ha ha! Well, that was a thing. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was our new boss, Lady Periel, head of House Groom. Her land, her rules. Oh. She sure took a shine to old Noah here. Lucky you, making a good first impression. <laughs> I didn't do anything. I did what now? <laughs> If you're shopping, our store is the best. We've got the biggest selection in the village. Well, it's only store in the village, but still. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Sorry, but your room isn't ready yet. Could... So do I talk to this dude over here? What a terrible selection. Rune shop. 
Not in this village. Okay. I'm kidding. Sorry, I'm hiding here because everyone's giving me weird stares. Yeah, you look like a, a weird furry dude. It's creepy. So what's up here? Another cutscene! When do I get to combat? Alright, we're here. Remember, this is a co-expedition with the Empire. Which means we'll be paired with Imperial officers. Best behavior, all of you. Especially you, Leanne. <laughs> sure thing. Wait, uh, what is she doing? Call me out. Because he can tell. The League's operatives will be here soon, sir. I believe everything is in order. Thank you, Hildy. So what do you make of this co-expedition? I welcome the exchange of olive branches, sir. A soldier's greatest wish is to not be working, after all. Just so. Let us hope the olive branches are genuine. So do I talk to this guy? Alright, so who, who do I talk to next? You? Oh there, expedition team members. I'm glad you've come. Feel free to make yourselves at home here, and I'd love to hear your tales of the borrows, if you don't mind. If you have any issues about the manor, don't hesitate to ask me. No, you weren't pointing at you. The borrows we're in investigating are presumed to be from an ancient civilization. Just in case you guys are wondering, the monitor I'm using, I'm window and window. <laughs> That's why I go like this, because the text looks really small on my monitor. <laughs> I don't have the largest uh, monitor set up uh, for recording right now, so th that's why, if you're if you're wondering, I do that. The civilization created the rune lenses, but everything else about them is still a mystery. Here, let's go up here. Another cutscene. Hmm. Looks like we found our officers. I take it you are the delegation from the League of Nations. Welcome. You come well recommended. Sure. I'm Lieutenant Sane Kessling of Galdia's First Imperial Army. I'll be leading one team on the co-expedition. Awful young to be a lieutenant, ain't ya? <laughs> you some noble kid? Is it your job to pry into my lineage, good lichen? Guess not. Noted. I am Hildy, Lieutenant Kessling's aide. The objective of this operation is to locate the rune barrows that were recently discovered in the forest. Uh, sorry, question. Why do we have to find something that's already been discovered? A local stumbled upon the ruins while lost in the forest, and while he provided physical evidence of the find... He got lost again on the way back? Correct. Our search team has been assigned the area north of here, through the forest. Unfortunately, we don't know the lay of the land, hence the joint effort. Why is this guy so important? We'll handle the navigating. I've been preparing two whole days for this. <laughs> yep. Ooh. <sighs> <laughs> this guy. We're prepared to leave at once. Is this agreeable to you? Make sure. sense. We'd head in first, so the rest of your team knows where to go. Come on, let's get this show on the road. I like this wolf dude. He seems pretty based. Are you not with them? Yeah. Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. Sorry. 
Name's Noah, by the way. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Well, if you're coming, keep up. <laughs> I like that. It reminds me of old school uh, RPGs like that where the guy's like, oh, and it just runs really fast for no reason. Our objective is to traverse the northern forest and pinpoint the location of the rune barrows. Is that clear? What? Is what clear? Crystal, ma'am. Crystal meth? Wait, no. Ma'am. Ma'am. Crystal ma'am. Alrighty, let's follow that mappage. Do, 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 do. Love the music. Music is really nice. I like the animation. The artwork is gorgeous. The visuals are fantastic. It runs buttery smooth. I mean, this game is... This game's good. We haven't got to combat yet. When traveling on the field, you can change the camera angle with... I'm guessing that says right stick. You can configure this in options. Yep, there we go. See, that'd be a weird thing to do to always be running towards the camera. But that's, that is really nice. I do like that. Old school, new school feel. Let's do this. All right, combat. Let's, let's check this out. When you meet an enemy on the overworld or in a dungeon, you enter a turn-based battle. Yes! Select fight to give your team commands and begin a turn. Your allies' status is shown on the right side of the screen and your enemies in the upper left. If any allies' HP drops to zero, they will be KO'd and helpless. Reducing enemies' HP to zero wins the battle. Losing all your uh, allies' HP is a loss. Pretty standard. At the top of the screen, you see the turn order for both allies and enemies. When your turn begins, characters act from left to right. Pretty standard fare. If you can make battles easier, by, you can make battles easier by eliminating any enemy's HP before they go. If an ally is low on HP, healing them before the enemies attack make battles much safer. Common sense for any JRPG fan. All right. So I'm guessing it's Wolf Dude? Yeah, okay. We're gonna attack Bunny Soldier. We're gonna attack the same Bunny Soldier. We're gonna attack the different Bunny Soldier. It's actually Rabbit Knight, but still. I wanna attack that thing. Oh, too far away. Oh, she can. Confirm. All right. Oh. What? Could have just hit auto. <laughs> Oh, tell us how you really feel. What you get. Solid turn-based combat. It's not on a grid or anything like that. I do like how it's like a mixed layout. Almost feels tactical, but not quite. I do like that it's not just simple line and line. That's That I do like. So if an enemy's further back, you may not be able to hit him unless you have a ranged attack. It's I like that. I love the retro modern feel. I really do. Pretty sure this is the forest we're looking for, Lieutenant. Keep moving. There's no time to waste. Voice acting is actually pretty good. 
Is it just me, or is he kind of a jerk? <laughs> Why can't he be a sweet little angel like our Noah here? Less talk, more walk. Oh, it just shows you where he walked. <laughs> oh, it disappears. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh, what is this? Save point, I'm guessing? Save point. That's the auto save, so we're going to save right here. Alright, so that's going to be your save point. What are these? Lumber. Okay. So, any items are the sparkly thingies? Let's just see auto. Okay. Dude, tell me how you really feel, bro. That was cool. Okay, one thing I'm not a big fan of are games that do auto attack like that. And it's almost like is the friend that never betrays you. Do I really need to play the game? Eh. But I understand when you got just a bunch of weak little enemies, like it, it, just let it do its thing and then you just move on. Just let it do its thing and move on. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so let's go to the menu. Healing herb. Gonna use this. Use it for... This dude's almost dead. Alright. We're gonna use another healing herb on this dude. And one more on her. Alrighty. Okay, so pretty simple item usage. We're going to resave again. Really like the music. Oh, what's going on here? You got a big stone in the way. Well... This complicates things. Uh, just climb over the side. You're uh, fine. I don't know a quick way around. And there's no way we'll move this ourselves. Uh, guess we'll need to back off until we get reinforcements. Step aside, please. Oh, what's he gonna do? He's gonna watch. <laughs> what are you? Use the force! I was right. Was that magic? No. It felt different. It's the force. The Empire has been studying ways to amplify the power of a rune lens by channeling it through a device called a regule. Oh, that's incredible. I wish mine could do that. You've got a lens, Noah? Well, ladies and gentle wolves, so do I. Rub a dub dub, don't be a flub. <laughs> there, did you see the glint? My power is usually focused in my hand, but I can't seem to redirect it as magic. A lens's power conforms to a wielder's talent. Yours is merely doing what you need it to. So everyone here's got a lens? What about you, Hildy? In a manner of speaking. Hmm. Nice. That regular contraption is pretty impressive. Are they common in the Empire? No. More importantly, where are you from, Noah? Random? A small village up in the mountains. Were your folks okay with you joining the Watch? Cause mine sure weren't having it. My parents are dead, actually. Whoa, that got dark. Oh, 
sorry. It's all right. The other villagers are like family to me, especially Aunt Martha. And she really didn't want me to go. If you all don't mind, Martha! I need to carry on. I really like the music. I don't know if I can say that enough. Ooh, more baddies. Let's see. Do this. Let's do it. Do it, do it, Bacardi and Cola. Let, let's auto again, see what they do. Let's <laughs> just destroy them bunnies. The dude likes using that. Good day, sir. Yeah, so auto seems to be the best thing to do for something. Where am I going? Oh. Oh, is there... I wonder if there's something down there. Because that would be easy to miss. Let's do this. More auto... No. More auto bunnies. That just destroyed that bunny. <laughs> He's like, nah, that's all I'm ever gonna do. What? Nothing to worry about. Nope, we good. But Segan needs a little bit of HP boop, boost, and so do I. Alrighty. Okay, there's nothing there, so... Okay. Healing herb, I'm running a little low. I know I'll get more, so I'm not really super worried. That's gonna suck if I have like a boss fight and I have to. Oh. Makes you wanna go one of the two ways. See if he attacks instead of using the swords. Oh wow. Yeah, see, he just can do regular sword attack. We cleaned right up. So it looks like it wants me to go this way. Yeah. I'm going to have to go this way. Normally I would go every way. Oh, there's something down there. My OCD will not allow me to Enemy proceed sighted. without getting it. Ready to intercept. Yes. Yeah, with the little fledglings, the little tiny enemies. Auto is just the way to go. Get you through pretty quick. Ruby ring. Oh, can I equip this? Ruby ring. Equipment. Ring adorned with ruby. Hmm. Strength is at 37. His is at 37. Mine's at 37. I'm gonna do mine. There we go. 
That's interesting, interesting, interesting. If you guys haven't noticed, that's just my like filler one. Destroyed Bunny Knight. Done. And not a hair out of place. I could just play this for hours. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. I was thinking about live streaming it, but uh I didn't. <laughs> huh. What is this? Some sort of shrine, though the design is unfamiliar. Hmm. So just sit and stare at it, people. <laughs> Literally. Hmm. Just keep moving. Two arms. Two auto. I do like the fact that when you destroy one of the enemies in the front, one of the ones in the back will come down. It's like, hey, let's make it easier for you to kill us. Conflict resolved without incident. Ah, revival medicine. Oh, so like Phoenix down from Final Fantasy. There's got to be like a little boss or something soon. Like your first boss. We haven't even seen that like major title screen like We're you not get. Alone. Stay alert and keep moving. They may not have one, I don't know. There goes my plan to stop for a picnic. I like Wolf Dude, he's kind of funny. Oop. 400 BQ. BQ? I don't know what that is. I'm guessing that's the monies. Oh wow, it just kind of opens up. Another cutscene. A lot of cutscenes. Wait, what? Huh? How did we... So maybe that's not the way I'm supposed to go, but this is the way I came. Two arms. Oh, new enemies. Dead, whatever it was. Got rid of the Karibos. They look like Karibos. Are you going to do the same cutscene? Or are you going to say you something else? Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Could be related. <sighs> All righty. So let's see if there's a different way I can go. Just wrecks with those things. <laughs> we cleaned right up. Animation is beautiful. Everything about this game has been pretty cool. More revival medicine. Okay, I was gonna say, is it gonna warp me again? Hmm. Something's here. Whatever. Weapons up, everyone. Weapons up. Company. Guns up. Got two words for you. Guns up. Okay, if you know what that's from, let me know. Drop it in the comments. Where? I can't see it. 
Up there, above us. Ooh, boss. Enemy sighted. Oh, Enemy look at that thing. Um, now nah, I'm gonna have some fun here. Let's try Rune Lens. The Rune Lens command lets allies use magic and skills. Magic uses up MP and skills spend SP. These techniques include powerful attacks, area attacks, healing, and more. When you get back a little SP each turn, yo, oh, sorry, you get back a little SP each turn. MP is only restored with an item or at a location like an inn. Watch your remaining MP on long dungeon delves. The rune lens. Okay, back to that. So, okay, don't have any. Can you do? Okay, so we're just gonna attack with you. Rune lens. Can we do it? Yeah, sword rain. No, nah, nothing there. Rune lens. Yeah, armor piercing strike. Rune lens. Swinging slash. Rune lens. Healing drops. Water veil. Boost allies' magical defense for three turns. Moderately restores. Okay, she's a healer. So we're just going to attack there. Confirm. Let's see this. All right, um, who, everybody s seems to be pretty all right in terms of healing. So can you do it? Yeah, we're going to, nope, not yet. Attack, we're going to attack again. We're going to rune lens again. Nope. We're going to attack there. Nope. Let's just attack. Can you rune lens? Yeah, you're going to, nope. Can't do that. Yep, yeah, you're going to do that and then attack. Ooh. This thing's got some health. Let's try one turn of auto. Ooh, Miss Stun. Oof. Last one. Oh, okay, that was it. Another one in the so, I do like the fact that you can do partial auto, you can cancel the auto, or you can do everything manual. I like this. All right, that I'm pretty sure is just like a, a tiny little boss, maybe a little mid guy. I'm I'm really liking this game. What was that? I do not know. The forest eater. They cause plenty of trouble around my village, too. Oh. Good thing you brought us. We're skilled. And we know what we're talking about. So they do that. I don't know if you guys are ooh, familiar with JRPGs or any kind of uh, Japanese RPGs in general. Even Western RPGs like to do that. They'll throw you a what seems like to be a boss like that but it's really just you getting to fight the biggest enemy that you're going to fight at the beginning of the game to let you see hey look there's going to be more challenging combat i do like that i i like everything about this game so far and if you're watching this and if you're still watching this at this point that means you really like this game too and you're just on the fence or deciding whether you're going to buy it so at this point if you're still watching you're probably going to buy it i think you should so I'm going to stop right here. I know you guys are like, oh, but wait, what happens? Oh, should I? Yeah, let's just go. Yes. Um, thank you, good Lycan. I have a name. It's Gar. It's Gar. As you wish, Master Gar. I was like, oh, you say okay. it, it sounds so sarcastic. Ugh, fine. <laughs> Call me Mio. 
Okay, hang on. Did we really never do introductions? Nope. In that case, I'm Leon. I saw you checking out my moves during the fight. Pretty snazzy, eh? <laughs> yes, they were hard, hard to miss. miss. I like that. Dialogue's kind of funny. Uh, yup, sure were. Well, spread the word when you get back to Galdia. I want everyone to know about the butt-kicking Supergirl you met. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> wow, they're all laughing at you. The I women are laughing at you. As well, Noah. Huh. Just count yourself lucky we spotted it first. Anyway, are we ready to move on? The barrels are close. I can feel it. No, you can't. Stop trying to hug the spotlight, new guy. All right, so we're going to leave it there. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helped you decide whether or not you're going to get it. We're like about 45 minutes into it. This is the beginning of the game. Uh, give you a little taste of the combat. Give you the taste of the story. Give you the taste of the characters, visuals, everything. Again, PlayStation 5 version. It is uh, going to be on Game Pass as well when it comes out, if I'm not mistaken. So if you have Xbox, you can play it there. And it's going to be physically on, uh, on Switch 2. So I'm going to pick up the Switch version later uh, just to have it in the collection because you know me and Switch games. But I'll continue playing it on the PlayStation 5. If you have any more questions about the game, drop it in the comments below. I'll be glad to answer whatever I can. Um, maybe I'll do a live stream uh, if this gets enough views or if enough people request it before the game comes out. But thank you guys so much for watching again. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Make sure you turn that bell on for notifications. And remember, we have channel memberships now. If you'd like to join, that would be great. But if you don't, again, hitting that subscribe button is always appreciated. Like we always say, God bless and be legendary. Thanks again.